So everyone, I told you that I would introduce you to my teachers at Aspire. And this is doc- the famous Dr. Ankur and Dr. Nikhil, who are, you know, with the, may, uh, before coming here, have already given a short introduction about how much they've helped everyone throughout their PLAB journey. And now you guys get to meet them in person. And also behind the camera, we are very helpful and we are not going to the camera. But we respect everyone's privacy. So, hello, Dr. Ankur. Hello, Dr. Nikhil. Uh, hello, Dr. Aspire. What is the story behind it? How did you guys start it? And were you always so good at this? <laughs> uh, first of all, thank you for a good introduction. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we started uh, in uh, December 2017. So, it's been... Uh, more than five years, yeah. <laughs> More than five years, yeah. I mean, uh, what was the motto behind it? To be honest, uh, uh, we actually gone through the same thing. Like when IMGs they come to this yeah. country, what kind of struggle they have, yeah, what yeah. kind of struggle they face, yeah. and also uh, another thing that we found out mm-hmm. that PLAP two is something different. Mm-hmm. Like we don't need to teach something like medical. Of course, mm-hmm. medical, but. It's more of communication skills communication, as well. Yeah. So the way we introduce the course is quite different. Mm-hmm. So we don't want to teach much. Mm-hmm. We want to practice as much as uh, yeah. we can do. And what yeah. we found is uh, there was no such course in the in yeah. the whole yeah. UK, which yeah. is uh, very personalized. Yeah, personalized yeah. and uh, where we are practicing with yeah. the students. Mm-hmm. So that's why we come up uh, with this idea mm-hmm. and we started. We started initially in London. Okay. And then. Uh, Oldham, Manchester, and, and now, now Blackpool. <laughs> Blackpool. Now Blackpool. So, were you guys always, you know, so good at teaching, or did it come naturally to you, or did it build up over the years? <laughs> we are good in teaching. I don't know. <laughs> no, you guys are obviously. That's why people come to you. So I don't know. I mean, uh, I think uh, we started interacting well with the yeah. candidates and. Uh, kind of same age with them so yeah. we just uh, try to build like a friendly environment I think yeah. they started liking that yeah, kind of yeah, thing. and more importantly we always try to act on the feedbacks yeah. so whatever we teach we always ask for feedback to tell us if there is anything to mm-hmm. change and we try to improve ourselves nobody yeah. would be perfect from day one yeah. you know? yeah, definitely. so that's how we, we improved and that's how we, we are now so what I personally really liked was that there are lots of academies that we scanned and we surveyed. I'm not going to name them. But the person who's teaching in the academy is like a star. Okay, So they're very unapproachable to the students and you can't go and interact with them, which wasn't the case with you guys. Okay, So I remember when me and Maria, we came in and we saw you for the first time. And then when we saw you, we were a little like, you know, starstruck. We were like, oh, the guy who we've been seeing in the videos and the lectures, he's here. And then, you know, when class is over, people are coming and talking to you. And we're like, oh, we can do that. We can go and talk to them. We can go and interact with them. So, you know, that's that's something that we didn't see anywhere else. Even in med school with your teachers, they've mm-hmm. always been so unapproachable. So, you know, how, how do you think you pro- how do you think you approach that? How How do you you know, do that, that you're so approachable for students. I mean, I think this is the most, is, I mean, essential thing for PLAP. I mean, we're yeah. teaching communications. Yeah, yeah. They can't communicate. <laughs> yeah, it true. doesn't make sense. True, yes. So we get sure, like, uh, whenever uh, we are starting a new batch, we always make sure we have a WhatsApp group and everybody is yeah. in that group. And yeah. every single candidate, they have got our number. Mm-hmm, yeah. So any question they want to ask me, they want to ask Nikhil, any other stuff. So, I mean, we are uh, always yeah. there to help. And we, we also experience the same thing what you just mentioned yeah <laughs> no one is approachable even in mm. lab where yeah. we went and even in our medical school so we thought mm. that should not be the way because anyone who is coming to you yeah. by trusting in your teaching and mm. they want to approach you to ask doubts or anything we should be approaching yeah. so that's one thing which we always kept available for all our students yeah. we, yeah. we do get messages in the middle of the night <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> for sure Achha, so we when we came to Aspire, तो हम लोगों की बहुत सारे friend circle में लोग थे जो Aspire जाके और सब के सब pass हुए थे and there were other people also we saw a lot of success stories so how do you how do you ensure that you know high success rate which compared to other academies 
uh, first of all, I would say like the kind of course we are offering, it has got everything. I mean, yeah. uh, some candidates they're good with like they want to read from the books only. Yeah. Some they want to like read online. Yeah. And after COVID, due to visa restrictions and yes. all, so we make sure like we're giving them recorded stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. So when they come to the academy in the UK, yeah. I mean, so they are actually ready. Yeah, prepared, yeah. So here it's like just mainly the practicing and all that thing we give like when we are doing like live academies and all. Mm -hmm. So this helps, I mean, in boosting their confidence. So yeah. that is the one reason I would say that they get like high pass rate. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else we can say is, uh, uh, Anything you want to mention? <laughs> <laughs> we try to provide all all the resources possible, every possible way. So we, for example, people who are not able to travel because of yeah. COVID, so we gave them online yeah. access and to the And you're also doing the courses, courses in different courses. countries and we, as we well. Yeah. We started traveling there so that if they cannot come for too yeah. long, they can take the course there. Yeah, I and think we had one here. in Pakistan as well. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. It happened at Indus Hospital only. Yes, it yes. Yes. Yeah, I was working and there was like a course going on. I was like, what? Yeah. 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 So that's, that's very Soon nice. Soon we'll be doing it again. <laughs> again, yeah. Okay. And yeah, continue with that point. So many doctors said, I cannot study online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we started doing is we started delivering the books. Yeah. Okay, fine, we'll do that as well, no problem. So we started like giving, however, the students are like the, what they want, they will be comfortable if they try yeah. to provide that. So that's what something which makes them ahead of others in the race. Yeah. So it's 7 p.m. And normally this is the time where we get free in our academy as well, like mm -hmm. 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. So how do you guys balance, you know, your personal life and the academy and just all of this? Because we only attend this course for 12 days or so. Mm -hmm. You guys do it every day, all year round, all the time. You know, we've always seen you on your toes. So how do you how do you balance it all? Yeah, I mean, Anish, I mean, I would say like we enjoy that thing, obviously. So yeah. that's why only you can do. I mean, if... Uh, you are not enjoying i don't think so you can do yeah, that yeah definitely and you know the kind of course like we are offering meaning we are just not doing one way teaching it's yeah. interaction yeah. practicing so it feels different all the time mm -hmm. i mean we don't feel it's the same course we are delivering mm -hmm. just teach for half an hour and yeah. then it's just practice yeah so if i'm practicing with you or practicing with other candidate feedback yeah. is going to be different yeah. everything is going to be like different different yeah so it's, that's it's the never same, same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one doctor is never the same with that. <laughs> yeah. So it's always new for us as well. Yeah. <laughs> like we see one doctor coming from, say, Egypt, they do the station in a different, different way. The doctor yeah. from Pakistan, India, so they do the course in a different mm -hmm. way. Uh, so it's, it's, it's new for us as well to so see different <laughs> culture people practicing stations in a different way and mm -hmm. we, we try to tell them how to do it. It's all new for us as well. So that's why I think maybe we're always energetic, we don't get bored. Yeah. So we have a lot of people um, who follow me because of this this plab journey and just getting to UK because um, I'm sure Pakistan and India are very similar in terms of medicine in terms of practice and everything and it's not great there you know doctors aren't very nicely heavily paid there people want a better future for themselves so you know they follow me for this journey and just more so what would you say is you know the fundamentals of succeeding in this exam. Uh, main fundamental I would say is practice that's okay. the main thing yeah. uh, sometimes candidates you know take it very lightly yeah I mean uh, maybe it is due to visa restriction yeah or uh, they feel it's easy exam it's easy to pass easy to fail as well yeah so main thing uh, what we would say is uh, spend enough time in the UK mm -hmm. and not just visiting UK but not just <laughs> in the academy mainly you know when you come first time what you feel okay let's yeah. go to Edinburgh let's go to yeah. London let's see London I this and that yeah. I mean that can be done of course after the exam as well so main thing is practice with your colleagues at least for we recommend like one and a half to two months you need to stay after the course okay. so that's the main mantra to pass this exam yeah. obviously like uh, uh, when you come uh, we recommend like you sh you should have seen the videos at least the recorded yeah. course that uh, yeah. we have given plus uh, they have uh, read the notes ac actually at least once mm -hmm. so when they come and they do the live course so they already have the idea, idea. so they can just uh, brush up their skills yeah and uh, then only you'll be ready moreover a uh, couple of weeks before the exam the mock's gonna happen yeah just work on the feedback what you have got from mm -hmm. the examiners and i think then the candidate is good to go and obviously you should you know be good at communicating right. and empathetic <laughs> another thing also i can mention is like you know sometimes we see candidates from us 
same area there's us practicing together yeah. we usually don't recommend that yeah. i mean you should be practicing with somebody where the mode of communication is only english yeah yeah uh, but sometimes like uh, same area candidates indians sitting in one corner yeah. pakistan can sitting in one corner yeah. egyptian sitting in one yeah, corner yeah, yeah. and they just practicing you know in their own language which yeah. is not like not, good yeah. thing yeah and in the exam you're going to have uh, people from different different uh, accent yeah I mean. definitely so if you make uh, practice in a way they practice with different different people different accent then mm. exam is going to be very easy yeah because in 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 pakistan and i'm not sure about india but in pakistan we really lack bedside manner okay? so <laughs> so you know over here you have to be very careful about disclosing and how you're disclosing stuff and you know just picking up on patient cues whereas it's not the same back home you know if someone has cancer you know oh aapko cancer hai aap and then you know there is no patient consent if a family member says ki oh inko nahi batayi gaye inko cancer like okay patient ko nahi batayenge inko cancer hai whereas over here you have to ask the patient if they want their family members to know so you know it's very i feel it's very difficult for people coming from that part of the world to be able to do this so you know and then i've practiced with some of the students who've been at aspire for a while and they're so good at this regardless of where they've come from so how how do you you know instill that that much of you know empathy and just bedside manner in people over such a short period of time jo wo 5 6 saal wahan reh ke nahi kar pate wo 10 12 din mein you know pick kar lete hain so would you say it's just practice Yeah, it's a practice, and you know, even in uh, recorded videos or teaching, I yeah. think uh, these things we repeat maybe hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, for example, eyes, eyes, yeah. eyes, idea, concern, expectation. I think uh, we repeat maybe hundred times in the course. Do it. Yeah. When you deliver uh, bad news, just try to put layers. Yeah. You say hundred times. I think uh, that's how they pick it up. And of course, after that, when they practice amongst each other, yeah. this is definitely, I mean, helpful. Also, you know, when you started, so. Uh, this uh, bedside manner in our countries. Yeah. You know, when I would teach, sometimes I say, in our countries we don't have ethics, but yeah. here ethics yeah. is, uh, I mean, one of more the most important, important things. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, from both of you, in in a very summarized way, how about you tell people why they should join Aspire? <laughs> why they should come to Aspire, and right. how they how you're different from everyone else. Yeah, so why you should join Aspire and why and how we are different? Uh, the thing is, the course uh, that we are providing, I don't think so anybody else is providing. For example, yeah, uh, when you join the course, what you get is uh, you get the online access for mm-hmm. the videos. You can yes. see the whole course in recorded videos. Plus, yeah. you have got the access for the notes. You can read them whenever you want, and even if you want, we can deliver the books at your address. Okay. and they are allowed to join the course online online mm-hmm. live course yeah. it's not recorded i'm talking about yeah. it's like live 12 yes. days course is uh, all the courses are live telecasted yeah. so when you are in your country you can attend me once or twice online yeah. so you are actually ready when you come to the uk yeah. so when you come to the uk what you do is attend in person now again yeah. and everything is like in one package you're not paying again for yeah. anything else and then uh, of course practice in the academy all the mannequins are here we are having like every week we have got like special simran classes as well mm-hmm. plus uh, before your exam just give the mocks yeah. mocks also similar kind of things we try to simulate here yeah. in the academy uh, like uh, same 16 station which includes all the stations including prescription simran mannequins everything is there and i think then you are ready to go and i don't think so anybody else is providing yeah. all these things in yeah. in one package yeah. uh, so it depends on the student if they want in person classes because they can grasp more in person so they can do that mm-hmm. some people they feel online is better for them they can do that recorded yeah. videos everything yeah. is is yeah. there i mean so if someone fails the exam they mm-hmm. can come back and take the course again without paying anything oh yes definitely till they keep till, pa- they, till, they, till they pass they keep, the exam till so we support them all the way till they clear even after as well yeah so many people do contact us back saying So I have a doubt while applying for a job. What should I do? I have a doubt while applying for training. What should I do? Could you please help me with my CV? Mm-hmm. So we do guide them. Like mm-hmm. so as I said, we we are yeah. helpful throughout. So you do you keep tabs on students that you know who has passed, who has failed, why they failed, what went wrong? Yes. Yeah, so we we do concentrate upon doctors who haven't passed. So after a again, as I said, we work always on the feedbacks. So after considering many options, we recently came up with a new concept as well, where we do something called a double impact mock. Okay. So which is a mock 
by personally by me and Dr. Ankur. So only both of us will be sitting in that mock. Okay. And not like a full mock, but mm -hmm. we do assess those doctors who are giving the exam second time mm -hmm. so that we can personally assess them and see what exactly went wrong last time. And we assess their mark sheet, what went wrong, and then we try to encourage them what to do next. Mm -hmm. So we tried, we started that recently, and we'll be continuing here in Oldham as well. Yeah. So that's for doctors who have you know, passed first time. And all the access, online classes, material, everything is available until you pass. Mm -hmm. So there won't be any additional charge. So you probably dealt with a lot of people who failed the exam as well. And from what you can gather from everyone that has failed, what do you think is the biggest mistake that people make while failing, you know, so the people that fail the exam? Biggest mistake, I would say, so first one is not practicing IPS. Okay. So because IPS is something which you can get only with practice. Yeah. If you, for example, say, uh, I do eyes and I read, what is your idea, what is your concern, what is your expectation? If you just read it, yeah. you don't get it. Yeah. So you have to practice. practice. For example, I don't know maybe whether you experience that or not. Yeah. Many, I think almost 90% of the doctors come up and tell me, Doctor, when I show some empathy, it feels like I'm faking it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like I'm doing it on my own. Yeah. But the same thing, you ask the same doctor after they practice, say, for 10, 15 days. Mm -hmm. Now they would be like, oh, Doctor, now I think I got used yeah. to it. So it's just the practice. So. Yeah. That is one thing. So practicing IPS is very important. And second one is time management. Mm -hmm. These are the two things I say which are very important and which are most commonly done mistakes. Mm -hmm. Because what they do is when they go to the exam, even not intentionally, but they get carried away with the questions. Yeah. They keep yeah. asking questions so and they don't get to the detail. management. Yeah. And once they get to the management, it will be very less time and they cannot complete the management yeah. and they lose the marks and minus. Yeah. So, from my side, I said these are two very important points. There are a few more yeah. in the list. But I would say these would be the top two. And you'd say being too scripted is also not not great. Mm, uh, that's where the IPS comes in. So yeah. it should not be scripted. So scripts are only for you to just get an idea. Understand what yeah. exactly is it? What exactly to do as a as a doctor? What questions to ask? But not exactly ask those questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So me and my friend, we were recently in the AIMS, which is the Aspire Integrated Mock Session. Yes. And um, I feel like everyone does mocks. Mm -hmm. A lot of academy do mocks. Yes. And people from our academy also go to different academies to do just mocks so they can experience what they're doing different. Yes. We recently took the AIMS and it was very, very, I feel like obviously we were tested, our skills were tested, we were given feedback, but we learned so much. Even though, you know, like I was in your station, <laughs> And you know, you, you had cancer and I said, oh, it's nothing to worry about, <laughs> still, don't worry, I don't see anything wrong with it. But I feel like that, that what I learned that day, I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. And every station that I did after that, I made sure to rule out cancer and just focus on what the patient is telling me. Because I remember you told me initially, oh, my mother and father had cancer. And I completely missed it, thinking that she was just trying to throw me off track. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with this mock where, where you know, you're giving so much feedback, where other students are learning from what other mistakes people are making? It's very personalized as well. And I haven't seen anyone else do it till yet. So what was what was the idea behind it? I mean, it's been uh, for very long time we're thinking to do something differently. Even this was the first one that we did. Uh, no, second the one. Second suppose, one. Yeah. Okay. So we're thinking to do something, yeah. and uh, so we come up with this idea. Let's divide them in like small, small groups where we can also sit in the mocks. Uh, yeah. Me and Nikhil. So in this, like, we thought of let's make like small, small groups where other teachers are also there. Yeah. And the main aim was to practice as many as stations we can. Yeah. So for example, in one day, we are practicing 30 stations, 30 with, stations the, yes. like one, with one candidate. Yeah. I mean, even if you are uh, sitting with your friends, I don't mm -hmm. think so you can do 30 station practice. Yeah. Yeah. So now you got to, I mean, you are doing few stations and you are able to see others doing others those do stations. Station, yes. So 30 stations in one day, which covers history, counseling, ethics, examination, sim man. So more or less, you are kind of prepared for the, for the exam. Yeah. So we were thinking for a very long time, but then, uh, uh, after the discussion on we thought yeah. okay let's try this one yeah. and after we did the first one everybody liked it they we said like it, yeah. uh, it was kind of very hectic as well yeah. for us and for the candidates yeah, as yeah. well but then they found it really useful yeah. so we're like let's, let's continue uh, doing it yeah no definitely yeah, so. we came out of the exam 
which is like you know whole bunch of knowledge even with with the sim man i i did everything and then i'm just looking at doctor and i'm like what do i do now is this done he's okay his stats have improved but my sister is like okay take history do management cover the stuff so yeah it was definitely very 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 um, it's, beneficial yeah it's, sure. it's 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 aspiring to great in mock session so it's aims yeah. so the meaning actually was to make it so personalized yeah. so we make a batch of six doctors or five mm-hmm. doctors yeah. and each doctor goes to six different tutors yeah. like each group goes to five, five six different doctors so again me and dr ankur also there in that again as i said many feedbacks we got so one of the feedback was why don't you sit in the mocks mm-hmm. yeah so as you must be aware we need to be teaching as well here yeah. and we need to be doing that and we need to do this double impact mocks and so we thought okay fine we we will do something different mm-hmm. so that if, people can get the chance of getting a mock with us so that's why we started this aspire to get a mock session and now they started calling it aspire intense mock session <laughs> <laughs> because it is so intense you start you start right 9:30 10 in the morning yeah, and it goes until 6:00 yeah seven, yeah definitely and you cover almost 30 stations plus prescriptions so yeah. 31 stations and you cover almost all the topics all the same yeah. same and prescription history counseling yeah. ethics pediatric yeah, gynae psych everything new stations old stations so you get like a complete revision of your yeah. like your whole syllabus yeah. so yeah that's one thing which we yeah. and also the fact that you have different people so every tutor will have something new to yeah. teach you you yeah, know it will right. differ from for everyone so that was also something you know very 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 nice that every station that i rotated to every teacher had a different way of you know doing yeah, things and teaching the students so i definitely feel like we came out of that very you know just like with a lot of new information and i also believe you guys do the als course as well yeah right. so what what is that and who ne- who should do the als course who is it important for how who does it help yeah i mean uh, what you would say is i think everyone should be doing uh, als because uh, now if you want to get a job in this country so i mean you need to do something different you yeah. have to have something extra in your cv yeah and uh, so that's like ALS so that's what you should be doing we have already done uh, with two courses mm-hmm. and uh, yeah i mean uh, first of all it's difficult to get ALS date as well and okay. like if you search you may be getting a date which is like 6 uh, months from now mm-hmm. and you are on like very short visit in this country so yeah. when you come and you can book the ALS as well and then it becomes easy when you pass plap to you have ALS so when you apply for the job so definitely you will be considered uh, Uh, for the job yeah. uh, instead of other candidates mm-hmm. so it's it's really important mm-hmm. uh, most of the candidates you know they have done als in their country as well yeah. but mostly it is uh, recognized by american mm-hmm. guidelines not the british one yeah. so that's why we come up with this idea like let's do something to enhance the cv mm-hmm. so now uh, we have got couple of things one is als mm-hmm. second is uh, cpd accreditation for example our plap 2 course is cpd uh, recognized okay. so that can also boost their uh, cv if yeah. they put in that because every doctor needs uh, Uh, almost I think 50 CPD points, points every, every year, year to re- for revalidation and all. Okay. So if you have got these things in the CV, so definitely you will stand out. Stand out. Okay. So I think that covers most of my questions and a lot of questions that everyone had. I just want to thank both of you for taking out the time. I know you're very busy, <laughs> very difficult to you know just be in one place. It must be so tough for you to sit down one place. But thank you so much. You both are doing a commendable job. and i'm sure everyone sees it because when i put up videos i i i often recorded some class lectures and everyone was like no dr ankur or dr nikhil is the best dr ankur is the best you know everyone had something nice to say so thank you so much it's been really fun i guess it's been very helpful so thank you so much for taking out the time